Hey everybody, Joy here. Ah, oh, arrested Joy, can you tell? <laughs> Thank you for your prayers. Between your prayers and the glass of wine Jerry gave me last night, <laughs> maybe that was it, the wine. Um, I slept so good. I'm telling you, I was so tired. I'm surprised I even made it to bed before I fell asleep. It is just unbelievable. But hey, thank you for your prayers and thanks for all your comments. So many of you have the same issues, so at least I don't feel like I'm a total freak of nature here. <laughs> Not being able to sleep. Whew, hopefully things are going to change in our world pretty quick and I'll get a lot better sleep. Let me take a sip. I haven't even had a sip of yet. Of this cup. Okay. So... There's going to be some news tonight, I heard through the grapevine. If you all want to hear it as it really is, and not distorted, and not rearranged, and not half wiped out by people who hate our president, watch it tonight. If it comes on, this is through the grapevine, it could happen, it might not happen, but something awesome is supposed to happen. And if you will watch Newsmax, you can go to YouTube and find Newsmax, or I think they're even on cable now. But if you want to know the real, real news, and not the doctored and fake and, and lying news. Um, check it out on Newsmax tonight, okay? Just in case. Okay? You want to hear the devotional for today? It's a good one. It's a good one. The importance of forgiveness. Jesus puts a great deal of importance on relationships. He often encourages his followers to love others, think about others' feelings, and care for others. So the possibility of coming to Jesus in prayer with your worship, praise, and request when you are angry with another person does not sit well with him. Forgive others before you ask to be forgiven yourself. And the scripture is, and I'm going to tell you a little story about me and this scripture. I was going to be baptized. Jerry and I were married and we had little, little kids. Um, I don't know how old I was, maybe 30. And I had never been baptized in water. And we were going to a Nazarene church then. And they were having a baptismal service. And it was going to be on a certain Sunday. And, you know, it's a big deal, you know, and a lot of people are baptized, and, you know, it's a, a special service that they do that in. So I said, can I be, can I be, can I be? So I was in the line to get baptized that Sunday. Before we got there, <laughs> Jerry and I had had a huge squabble. We had a huge squabble almost every single Sunday. We knew we had to have our kids in church. We knew you needed to raise your kids in church. We wanted to be sure our kids were in Sunday school, but we both had hard work weeks at work, and what we'd really rather have done would be stay in bed and sleep till noon. Let me take another sip of. But it was real important for us to raise our kids in church, so we never, never, never missed a Sunday. But we usually had a fight on our way to church every Sunday, usually because I, it's, it's all my fault. Because I'm so particular about everything, about what the kids were wearing and, and what we were wearing and what time it was and if we were late and if we were early and, and just, it could just be anything. And I'm, I'm just such a nervous ninny and I would just be fussing, fussing, fussing and why are you always late? Why don't you figure out what you're going to wear the night before? I don't understand why you're always late and you don't know what you're going to wear. And it, it could just be anything. I don't remember what we were fussing about that day. But the whole way to church, I was hollering at him and he was hollering at me and the two kids in the back, back seat. And, and so then we would get to church and the first thing that would happen is we would go to Sunday school. And um, then after Sunday school would be the church service. So, here we are going to church this morning, and on the way to church, I'm feeling so bad because I know I'm going to be baptized, and I'm probably an absolute nervous wreck because my hair's going to get wet, and I'm going to look horrible, and, and I have to put on a towel or whatever. I'm just, 
It could have been PMS. With PMS, my God, I don't know how Jerry kept from just locking me out of the house and <laughs> not letting me in. I had bad PMS. So anyway, the time comes when they're going to do the baptism. And so Jerry's out in the audience. The girls are probably in Sunday school or children's church, and Jerry's sitting in the audience, and I'm up in the back in line waiting to get baptized, waiting for my turn. So I'm standing in line, and I had just read this scripture. When you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins. So, I just thought, oh, I'm just the world's worst Christian, I'm the world's worst mother, I'm the world's worst wife, I can't believe I'm such a horrible, awful person, how on earth can I get baptized? So it came my turn, and I was just worried, 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 just spreading, 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 and it came my turn, and I stepped up in the water, and the preacher put his hands on me, and he said, is there anything you'd like to say? And I turned to the audience, and I said, yes. I said, I would like to ask my husband to forgive me for what happened this morning on our way to church. And the audience kind of, oh, nobody ever, ever, ever really said anything. <laughs> I mean, I said, if you want to say anything, nobody ever said anything, but then this is me, of course. So that's what I did. And so Jerry probably just wanted to crawl under the, the pew and crawl out of the church and act like he didn't know he was my husband. <laughs> Not because I asked him to forgive me, but because I spoke at all, you know. <laughs> so, I did that, and then I got baptized. And so, the next Sunday, when we went to church, because Sunday school was always first, and we went in and we sat down, and um, the Sunday school teacher, who was also a, um, a family therapist, um, he said, Joy, I just want to tell you that what you did last Sunday was absolutely awesome and amazing. I was so proud of you. I'm like, yay! <laughs> and so then, of course, my husband was too. But anyway, yeah, I, I'm the kind of person that if somebody is mad at me or upset with me or if I've hurt their feelings, I want to fix it. I just cannot stand to think that somebody thinks I'm a bad person when I'm not a bad person. So anyway, I won't go on and on, but that's the scripture for today. It's Mark 11:25. Forgive others before you ask God to forgive you. Okay? So, remember my stretchy pants from yesterday? <laughs> I thought, first of all, I made you some videos showing you how I made them. <clears throat> Because everybody, you know, do a tutorial, do a tutorial. So I did a little bit of a tutorial. The instructions are really in need of repair, I can tell you that. But the pants are easy to make. So, before I show you how to make them, because probably most of you don't even care about that or need to see it, I'm going to show you the finished pants. And this will be, yesterday I showed you the first pair of pants that I thought was too magnetic to my body. So I made the second pair of pants, and I made the legs two sizes larger, you know, going around my legs. I made them two sizes larger, and they fit just about the same as they did before. <laughs> so I put them on this morning. I thought, oh, I like to put those pants on. I'm going to look so horrible in them. <laughs> so I put them on in the closet, and Jerry said, oh, my gosh, those are really cute pants. So that kind of cheered me up and made me brave. So I took some pictures of myself in them. And I'm going to put them right here so you can see the front and the back and the side and all my chub and everything. So I'll put those here first. Pictures. Okay, so that's what they look like. Now, the first pair, I did just the plain waistband that didn't have that crossover going on. So the pair you just saw has the crossover front going on, and it really is nice. I've got them on right now, and they stay up. They have no elastic in them. They're staying up fine. They aren't sliding down. So I really like that crossover thing. Not that anybody's ever going to see it on me because I'm covered up to the knees. <laughs> 
unless I show you like I just did. <laughs> so, right here, I'll show you some clips yesterday when I was making the pant, okay? It's a little video, some video clips I made yesterday when I was so tired. Oh my gosh, was I tired yesterday. <laughs> I recorded this part with no sound so I could just talk you through it. There you can see I've got it laid out on the fabric I had left. I was able to make another pair. And here is the way the waistband looks that crosses over at the center front. It's called the V waistband. Here I want you to see the one pattern piece. See where my hand is going around that curve at the calf? Isn't that cool? And I did leave it in, and it fits just great. And you can see there's just one seam for the legs in this pattern. Yes, you have to print out the PDF, and you have to print the pages together. And it says you don't have to trim the pages, but I did have to trim the pages unless you've got Superman vision and you can see through the paper. Now here's the other waistband pieces. There's two for the front. See it says inner front, outer front. And there's two for the back. I'm going to get them lined up here on the table for you. This was real confusing the first time I made them. I thought, what's with all these pieces? So see, there's two fronts and there's two backs. The thing is, the back is a tiny bit smaller than the front on purpose because they want the seam at the top of the waistband to curve to the inside. I'm showing you there's an inner and an outer front and an inner and an outer back. So those two go together. And those two go together. So you have to cut all four of those out on the fold, just one, one time each. So you've cut two of these out, this one pattern piece. You have cut two out. This is so easy, I'm telling you. If you want some leggings, make your own. It is so much fun to get to pick your fabric. So all we're going to do is turn these around so they're right side together. Okay, so now instead of wrong sides together, they're right side together. And we are going to sew the front and the back. This curve right here, the short curve, is your front. Right there, we're going to sew that together 3 8 inch, 3 8 inch, 3 8 inch. Always write down your seam allowance. Jaylee uses a quarter. Some companies use 5 eighths. Some companies use a half. This is 3 eighths inch. We're going to sew this curve, and then we're going to do the back curve. This is the back. How do I know? Because it's longer. The front is very short because it's got this V waistband coming down into here. Okay? So we're just going to sew, 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 sew. So, 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 so. I'm going to do it with my serger. Then, all you do is sew the leg seams together. And that's it. You sew the leg seams together after you sew these two together and you put the waistband on. So, let me go sew this part and then I'll show you how you fold it together to do the legs. My Burnett 203. Still sews just the same as it did the day I bought it. I wanted to show you, you can also, if you don't want to draw that dash like I did, put a mark on your machine. This is tape. It comes off real easy. It's just some little half sticky tape. And I mark 3 8 inch from the needle over, from the needle over to that line. And that's my 3 8 inch. Ta-da! See there? How easy is that? That was three seams. The front, the back, and the inner, the inseam that goes inside your legs. From ankle on your right, one leg, to your ankle on your other leg. You just sew, 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 sew. And there it is. So we have a pair of leggings here. 
and you're going to keep it like this. They don't show it this way in the picture, in the instructions. But you're going to put your waistband down inside this to sew it on. So you're just going to leave these like this. See the little humps down there for the calves? <laughs> I should put them on just to see if they're bigger than the ones I made yesterday, but I'm sure they are. They tell you to measure your thigh and your calf, and then you pick your size for your legs according to that. And I did that. My legs were two sizes smaller than my belly and my rear, of course. So, that's the way I sewed the first one, but I decided they were just too fitted that way and I didn't like it. So now we're going to do the waistband. Now there's three different waistbands. This one with the points is the one I'm going to make today. It's going to cross over in the front like this. The one I made yesterday didn't have any points. I showed it to you. It was just smooth all the way around. The third style is you use the one I used yesterday and this one. So you've got four layers of fabric. You've got the full waistband, then you've got the crossed over waistband, which gives you the opportunity to color block. That's the reason it's there. And if you go over there to this website at Green Style and look at this pattern, like I said, there's a whole, whole bunch of pictures of girls wearing them and they made them all different ways. When I was looking at it, I thought, well, what's with the waistband? That one looks different, that one looks different, that one looks different. <laughs> but now I know. See there? Yeah. So we're going to do this one today. This one. So this is the instructions. The instructions are how many pages? 14 pages long on the instructions. Alright? So, we're going to look at this waistband and see what it says to do. Crossover V waistband, right there. Page 10. Alright. Fold the waistband in half. Okay, you don't fold it in half this way. <laughs> I haven't had any sleep for four days. You fold it in half this way. This way, see? That way. You fold it in half that way. It looks like we're going to need to do some basting. Okay, so you fold it in half like that, and then you take one side and you fold it over the other side. Oh my gosh, you can't get simpler than that. How cute is that? Can you all see it? Let me get some paper to put in here. Yeah, so right there. See, so this is your belly button. That's your belly button right there. And you just cross it over like in the picture, and then I'm assuming you attach this together so it will stay put. You do. You sew here and you sew here to make this stay together. Then you're going to put it in your pants. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? <laughs> I'm going to do it, and then I'll be back. I just sewed the waistband in, and you can see that fun V. I've got to serge the inside seam. I haven't done that yet. I have not tried these pants on yet. But they are done except for the hem at the bottom of the legs. This is really cute the way this crosses over there. Kind of tricky. I'll tell you what's really tricky. Is their instructions. I left a comment yesterday and told them I thought their instructions were poorly done. We were down here on page 10 making this waistband. It says after you do what we did, skip to step nine. So I turned the pages. So do you see up there it says number nine? What does it say after number nine? It says number 14. After number 14 it says number 15. After number 15 it says number nine again. Somebody needs to proofread their work at this company. Let me see if I can go back and see where number 13 is. That's 6, 7, 8. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it goes 9, 14, 15, 9. Maybe this is from a foreign country. They don't have a count in English. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I haven't slept for four days. <laughs> I'm going to go try these on. <laughs> Let me show you all something really, really crazy that I did. 
there is a pin. A pin. It's inside here. You want to see? That's the head of it. Look. It's inside the waistband. Am I tired or what? <laughs> okay. So that's the pictures. That's the videos. And now I'm going to get ready to watch Judy. It's going to be a really good one. Uh, she sent lots of attachments this time. And it's going to be really good showing all different ways to do the dolman sleeve. So I will be doing that at 1 o'clock today. So I need to get this camera off this tripod and get it in there and get my video uploaded. And remember, watch Newsmax tonight. My friends, I love you and I'll be back soon.